Hello and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. My name is Stephanie and I'm the creative behind my prints collection. On today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create a, an outline effect on your lettering. If you like this kind of tutorials and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. A brand new video will be posted every Tuesday. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. So I have me my iPad Pro, I'm going to open the Procreate app and I've selected a screen size canvas. You can select your own size, uh, it's really up to you. I'm going to show you two methods to create an outline. The first one is the quickest and it's quite cool, is with the um, add text feature that was recently added to the Procreate app. So if you go to your uh, actions, add text, you can choose any font that you want. I'm gonna go with the standard font that the, the app has, and I'm gonna write the word outline. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna increase, put it here, double tap to select the word, and I'm gonna edit the style, the style. I'm gonna put bold, some of the fonts will allow you to choose a style, some uh, will not allow you. But here in the design section, you can increase the size of your lettering. And the clearing, you can increase that. And what it will do is it will increase the spacing of your uh, words. So I'm happy with this. And now the cool thing is this button over here. If you tap on the button, as you can see, it has created a cool outline effect on your lettering. So if you would like to fill the inside of your lettering with another color, with this option over here, you will go to your layers, click on rasterize, and now select a different color, and you can tap, hold, drag, and drop. And as you can see, it will fill the inside of the letter, and you can do kind of a rainbow, um, a gradient, it's really up to you. So this was the, the first option that you have. The second one will be to uh, create an outline with your own lettering. So I have already my uh, word ready to go. I'm gonna add a new layer. I'm gonna change the background to a yellow. I'm gonna have the inside of the lettering with a pinkish um, uh, Let's go with a light blue and I'm gonna use the, 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 my ribbon brush for this um, example. So this ribbon brush is a sample. You will have this brush available for free. Check the link down below in the description to grab your free brush and it is part of my ribbon and outline set that I will show you a little bit more further um, ahead in this, during, in this video. So with the ribbon standard brush selected, I'm gonna write my word outline. So this brush is quite cool because if you've checked my previous video, I'm, I'm showing you how to create a ribbon effect and I'm using exactly this brush. So you can check that out if you want and make a cool ribbon effect. So I have my word over here, outline. And now I want to create an outline of this word. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate the layers and the layer underneath, I'm gonna hit on the select option, go to my um, palette, my colors, and I'm gonna select like a dark purple. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my layers again, the layer that we've selected, we are gonna tap, click on fill layer. And as you can see, probably not, but it has created like a very slight outline of your lettering. But we want to increase the, 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 the effect. For that, the layer with the, with the outline, we selected, we are gonna go to our adjustments, click on Gaussian Blur and increase the size. You can go wild with this, really have, <laughs> or I normally like to use like, five to 4.6%, like a slight um, outline. 
but bear in mind that if you want to go with a bigger um, outline you will have to repeat uh, several times the, the process that I'm going about that I'm going to explain so now that we have this uh, outline created over here I'm gonna go to my layers and duplicate it the layers like five times or as many as you want so and I'm gonna merge them. So as you can see, it has created a um, an outline, but it's not sharp. It has this soft edge. And if you like this style, you can leave it as it is, but we are gonna sharp the edges of this um, effect. So now on the layer that we've created the outline, I'm gonna click select. Go back to my brush library. I'm gonna select a standard brush from the um, actual from the airbrush uh, style. I'm gonna go with a medium brush, increase the size all the way up, and not medium. And I'm gonna start painting over my lettering. See how this is starting to sharp my letters. So, if you want to uh, increase the sharpness of the, the this uh, outline, you will have to repeat the process. I like to do it four or five times, or as many as necessary. And as you can see, we've created this cool outline on our work. So if you like the result, you can leave it as it is, but if you actually want to um, remove the inside, the color that is inside and just actually have the outline, I'm gonna show you two ways to do that. I'm gonna duplicate the layer to show you. So the first way is to go to your um, first layer and click on select, go back to your layers and click on clear. Now, you've, as you can see, you've removed the inside of your lettering. So this is one way. The second way will be to um, go to the first layer, click on select, invert. so it has selected everything, but we want to invert the selection and we are gonna go back to our outline layer and click on mask. It has created a mask and this does exactly the same effect so as you can see the inside the color that was inside was removed and you have the outline of your lettering so this is quite a cool process and effect to uh, add to your um, to your lettering but I just want to quickly show you a brush that automatically does that for you so if you want to check out this it's uh, totally optional if you want to check out my uh, ribbon and outline set you will have several options here you can you ha can use these brushes to uh, create a ribbon effect that i've explained in my previous video that it will change color when you go up and down on your strokes and i have here an outline uh, thin and thick outline so the thin outline it's a brush that already helps you create that outline. So if you don't le um, lift up your pen, you can actually write the word and have those gorgeous outline made for you. And so here we have to lift the pen. So what you can do is go to your uh, eraser and erase uh, these strokes inside. So actually this is a brush that is uh, empty in the inside. So what I mean is if you want to fill these uh, letters with a color, you can hold, select a color, tap, hold and drag, and it would fill your uh, letters with the color that you want. So this is one of the options. You have um, another one, several options within this set. So this is the, the one that you use is the thin outline. I have the thick outline, which will create a thinner, um, a thicker outline as you can see. And my favorite, and you have other options, which is 
With the color that you've selected, this brush already clear, creates the inside and out of your, so the inside with your color if you've selected, and the outside creates an outline with a layer color of the color that you've selected. So you have this one, and you have as well the thin outline, which will create a really thin outline as you can see here. And my favorite brush is the gold outline. So you can um, actually create a cool gold effect on your lettering if you want to. So let me choose like this one. So it really pops those gold. So you can create a gold effect. This is rose gold and you can fill in the, your lettering with the, the, the column. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the brush set that I've just showed you, the ribbon and outline set, I will leave a link in the description below, as well as a link to my sample brush, the ribbon, the ribbon brush that you can download for free. See you next Tuesday with a new tutorial. In the meantime, happy drills!